Hi, this is Heather with strengthontherun.com. Hoping you'll join me for a little bit of stretching here. I just ran what I call my long run, which is five miles, and it felt amazing on my home treadmill. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to find a place to put this computer where you'll be able to see me. So I want to start with the next stretch. Um, I think this will work. And that, by the way, is picture me when I was 11 with my dad in the background. So, hi. So a little bit of left ear to left shoulder. Zip the abdominals in and up. Left and right rib together. Yep. So really make sure when you're stretching your neck that you're facing front. Um, so please, I don't want you to turn your head sideways because it just really affects your stretch. Try to avoid that. Try to plug those shoulders into your back. Let's do the other side. Keep breathing with me. Super big breath in, super big breath out. Again, super big breath in. A super big breath out. One more, so about five more seconds. And again, chin forward, tucked into your neck, so not jutting your head forward, right? Cool. The, the chest stretch, I'm just going to do it this way today because we're kind of doing this video. So I'm going to step back a little bit so you can see this better. As I'm just sliding toys out of the way, I've got two kids. Um, again, always focus on this first. We've got to have that posture in place so everything else will be safe and effective. So we want to zip in and up. We want to melt the bottom two ribs back. Um, that's how we want to stand pretty much, I'd say all the time. So we've got our um, fingertips just gently reaching out as we plug our shoulders into our back. And this is a chest opener. That's why I'm guiding you through this. But what I also love about this one is it loosens up the arms and believe it or not, a lot of us have tight arms. We don't even think about that because we feel our back, feel our hip, our knee. But a lot of times, especially if you have upper back and shoulder and neck, your arms are also tight. And so when we do this, we're loosening up our biceps and our triceps. So we're getting a lot accomplished with one stretch. Um, so now we're going to come down. Um, actually, we're not going to come down to the floor yet. What I am going to do is try to find a place to put you you being my um, faithful audience. And let me see, I think you can kind of see me from here. We're gonna do a standing hip flexor stretch. So what I'm gonna suggest you do is if you feel like you need a piece of wall, please by all means hold on to it. Um, if your balance is pretty steady, you can try the way I'm showing you. Where one hand is on the hip, we're just gonna bend one knee, hold on to the ankle. So again, this hand here, absolutely hold on to a wall or a chair. I just don't happen to feel the need for it today. So we want to make sure we've got, again, zip those abdominals in and up at all times because it's going to facilitate that stretch. So I just lost it a little bit because I want to turn for you. Um, knees together, so inner thighs zipping up. And it's okay if you're wobbly. Again, that's why I really want you to get that chair. <laughs> I've been doing this for years. So again, left and right rib together. Tuck the tail under. We're stretching the front of that upper thigh. And we are breathing into it. One more big breath in, full breath. And exhale, we're going to switch sides. So that other arm can help you with your balance. And so now I'm feeling a little more balanced. And what's fascinating, by the way, about this, check in with your body, see if you notice this. As you loosen up your muscles, you might notice you're more steady. I'm already more steady just for having stretched one leg. Um, you might also notice one leg is better than the other. For me, that's not the case. I happen to know that it was because I stretched. So inner thighs hugged together. We're just zipping in and up. Left and right rib are together, and chest is nice and open, especially since we already, we already did that chest opener, and we're just breathing deeply. We're going to stretch our IT band and TFL just real quick. Cross one leg in front of the other. I don't care which one. So we're going to get both of them. It's the back leg that you're stretching. Now, both feet should be flat. I know you can't really see that here, but just check on yourself. Both feet are flat. And again, front leg is going to press into the back. Take the back arm, just gently reach up and slightly over. What's nice about this is we're going to enhance the stretch on our TFL IT band, which is tissue, uh, connective tissue. We're going to add in a little bit of lat and oblique. Um, you know, I'm just a big fan of incorporating a lot of muscles, um, stretching multiple muscles if we can. Let's switch sides. Um, so we're just going to, again, it's always that back leg we're stretching, zipping in and up. Now that zipping and up, when we reach over is going to, again, allow us to stretch that lat. Um, for a lot of us, the lats tend to get tight. and We want to loosen them, and that helps us have a flat belly. So just a nice thing to keep in mind. If you have 
stretch your hip flexed in your lap. It helps you have a flat belly. Awesome. So now a couple more muscle groups before we uh, before we feel like we've really gotten most of our body. I mean, this is pretty efficient. It's just a lot of the muscles in our body, and I would say about maybe 10 minutes at the most here. Um, so I'm going to adjust you guys down a little bit. So what I'm going to do right now is get my hamstring. So we've got this bottom leg flexed. We've got the heel pressing forward, ball the foot pressing forward. Um, straight line, hip, knee, and ankle, abdominal zip in and up, chest open. And sometimes what I like to do when I'm stretching here is stretch my neck with it like we did a little earlier. So you could definitely do that. And this is driving me crazy. I feel like I just need you guys where you can see me. So that's a little better. <laughs> and let's do the other side. So maybe if I move a little bit closer to you guys. Perfect. So straight line from hip to knee to ankle. Zip in and up. Left and right rib together. Nice and tall. Breathe. Breathe into it. We're almost done. Um, I am going to lead you guys through a separate hip flexor stretch. Um, not hip flexor, calf. Because I want to get my calf, since I ran five miles, um, good idea. We're getting the calf here, but I want to do it a second time with an incline because of all that impact with my weight hitting the, the, the ground. And um, just because I used it so much, running uses those muscles. So, um, and you know, I just kind of want to show off my treadmill too. So I'm not going to lie about that. I was so excited to get this treadmill. Take a look at it. Let's give it proper respect, shall we? Isn't it the coolest thing ever? I love having it. So I'm uh, going to try to angle at you guys so that you can see the stretch. Because what I'm going to do is stand on the edge of my treadmill now. It may go without saying, but just in case, make sure your treadmill is off before you do this. Have it turned off completely. Mine is unplugged, but definitely make sure that treadmill is not going to move before you do this. So I'm just trying to get you guys to stay. My computer is kind of old, I'm not going to lie. All right, so we're up on the edge of the treadmill here. I think you'll be able to see this just fine. So I've got the ball of my foot. Let me angle you guys down a little bit. The ball of my foot is right at the edge. Now I'm holding on here with one hand to the bar. I'm just going to gently hang that heel down. Um, now an advantage to doing this, as opposed to simply standing on the ground and reaching your leg back, we get more of an angle. We actually get some um, dorsiflexion, which is just a fancy way of saying that your toes are kind of angling up towards your knee, so you're getting that angle in your angle in your ankle. Sounds like a tongue twister. So that was about 25 or so seconds. We're just going to do the other side. So make sure your foot is straight, so don't turn out or turn in. Make sure your toes are straight towards your wall or whatever's in front of you. And we're just reaching that heel down about maybe 5 to 10 more seconds here. So pretty good full body stretch in 10 minutes. Love it. Good way to start or end a workout. Now that's a wrap. Thanks again for joining me. This is Heather with StrengthOnTheRun.com. Check it out. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing with these videos. Have a beautiful and blessed day.